start of the driveway. It's even a concrete, but it's got some different design perspective to it. The path that comes up from the gate, it's got different tiles on it. So the path is different. And that goes up to our veranda outside. But staying with the drive, I mean, these are all individual tiles that are put in for the drive. The little concrete steps that just added a little bit of character to it. Some, some little square tiles just to break the, the concrete up. And the same with air as well. So even coming on underneath the, the shaded area that was here before, they've done the same thing with the little tiles. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. And what they did, as I said before, we even rented it, they put the carport on there. And they said they didn't just put a, a flat roof, they put a pitch roof on to try and match the roof up with the side of the house. Now the gap in between the roofs, they've got guttering in there, which goes around, which takes all the water from the roof, well, from this side of the house anyway, down into a drainage. And that just goes into the street. So going on about this drainage, the drainage channel just goes up the side of the wall of the house. And what this does is that this, this ground all slopes in towards there. So any water that comes off the roof, that one there and that one there and that one there, it all falls down and it goes into this channel and it channels it around and it takes it off. So we don't have any puddling or pooling of water. Now, as I said, the biggest advantage, I've got to say, here we are now at two o'clock in the afternoon and the majority of the house is in shade. So we'll just walk out. So this is sort of the back of the house. We've got a bit of an extension here. This is all in the shade. So this is all in the shade. So as you can get my drift now, at the end of the day, the sun isn't heating the whole of the house. And we've got a massive veranda here, which we love. And uh, again, even the, the, the around the windows, rather than just being square, they've made it decorative. The front doors, the front doors are beautiful. I like these, it reminds me so much of France. So, I mean, big tall front doors. It's also added security, but it, it makes it look lovely. And again, the, the veranda, just not normal concrete, the tile that, that make, makes it look like uh, wooden flooring. Again, the, the other decorative uh, around the window, which is beautiful. A little bit of a decorative feature above the door, little bits of coloured glass. See what I mean? It, it's just all added to the, makes it look nice. We've got a couple of sockets outside. This is where we sit most of the day outside because it's, you know, it's just nice. I mean, look at that view. Beautiful view. The sun comes up over there on the morning, beautiful. Again, not a big garden, a nice sized garden for, for us to look after. The hedges, that takes a lot of cutting. The hedges because then you have to go on the outside and do the other side. Again pebbles were already here just to cut down on the weeding and things like that. See even this side of the house most of it is in the shade. A little bit of sun at the bottom but majority of it is in the shade so the whole wall isn't getting heated up by the sun which is great. And again, as I say, our back garden, we've added a couple of uh, banana trees and things like that. We're going to do something with this area. We don't know particularly what yet. But remember watching my video when it, we had the water pipes that was going across there. We're slowly remedying that now. I've done the, the water filtration system. So these are where the pipes go, there's the main pipe to the house and the, 
the water pipe from the mains outside comes up this channel and this we just have one pipe that goes across there but we made it all sort of look the same and what I'm going to do is just put these bricks in so it's the same as that so we, we have one line of like features and we'll have three separate plants in there but the water filter I mean that, that was a necessity as you can see it's due for cleaning now it's all backed up with green stuff because we get our water straight from the lake and the lakes are only a couple of hundred meters away so then the back of the house I mean I love this wall I mean this has nothing to do with the owner of this house before we got it but the people who own them houses built all this wall and it's a beautiful wall it reminds me so much of the Lake District in England because a lot of us stone wall in. Uh, we built this to, um, because my wife wanted to grow some plants, shaded plants. So this is a lovely little area. I say my wife spends many a happy hour here and it's, it's perfect for me for the solar. I'm going to put some more solar panels on here and um, it's just it gets the sunshine all day and it, it's beautiful and it's free energy. I mean so we did this we put the solar power in this is the emergency backup system for us so we have a uh, 100 amp battery and uh, an inverter this is so if the electric goes off which it does sometimes so we've all already got power to run the fans and things like that so this is just a, a brief walk around why we chose this house now there, there are a couple of things to do i mean the, the water's got into there and it's expanded and it's cracked a brick so now we're going to have to do something with this I don't know exactly what we're going to do with it yet but we'll we'll do something with it so that's it our house in a nutshell do you like it leave your comments down below if you're going to build a house don't build a boring house with just all concrete put a little bit of feature into it put some you know some different alterations like those with the driveway okay it's going to cost much much more expensive but it looks lovely and as I say we've got all the little seating areas here I, I have my coffee in the morning here when I get up because the sun shines up above there and it's sort of right in your eyes when I'm sat there but if I just sat there have a cup of coffee look at that view This is why we chose this house and its location. Better than I could ever imagine or ever afford in the UK.